heaven's California Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to another video by Wednesday Entertainment. He, he's killing it recently, like I swear. He's actually uploaded actually quite a lot in the past like few days. Or It's like he does like well, at least one a day. And this video is like pretty long to like five minutes, so pretty long compared to for a video for him, right? So, my ex-colleague tried to kill me. So, hmm. that's, that's great. That's terrific. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Back when I was 21 years old, I was a strategic firearms commander. This meant that I led a team into dangerous situations that oftentimes involves hostages or civilians who carried guns or other deadly weapons. That's scary, though. I had a second-in-command firearms commander working beside me. His name was Callum, and he was my best friend. We always hung out outside of work. And while on duty, he would always joke around and make us crack a smile, even when we were dealing with pretty distressful stuff. We once had a case where a man had possession of a firearm, and we were assigned to take care of it. Callum seemed particularly eager and jumped out of the van before it even came to a full stop. When the rest of the team reached the scene, the man was already shot. Callum still had the gun in his hand. Soon after, I asked Callum why he was so eager to do it. And then he said he had no specific reason. He was just excited. I believed him because he was my best friend. Later on, when I was looking at the man who was shot, I looked him up on social media and realized that he and Callum added each other on Facebook. Upon further investigation, I realized that there were thousands of messages sent between the two where Callum revealed sensitive information about several operations. I knew that he killed this man on purpose, but I had no way of proving it. He was taken to court and was sentenced to three years in jail for perverting the court of justice. Oh, damn. I testified against him and was no longer his friend. When I was 24 years old, I was still on the firearms team. All that happened with Callum was behind me, and I was happy with my life. One night I went home really late after work. As I walked to my apartment, I realized that it was trashed. I called the police and they reported it, but... There was not much they could do because I didn't have a CCTV. As I got into bed, I saw that there was a note on my bedside table. Remember me? All it said was, remember me? I instantly recognized Callum's handwriting. And now that he was out of prison, I thought that he would move on with his life. I was so wrong. This was his revenge. The next day, I went to the underground parking lot and I saw that my windscreen was smashed. It was clear that he wasn't over me testifying against him. Soon after, I also saw him near my apartment. I ran after him, but he ignored me and ran away. I tried calling his old number, but it was no longer in service. Then an envelope was sent through my door, and it contained hundreds of photos of me at work, home, and even out with my girlfriend at clubs and restaurants. Oh my God. These were all taken very recently. The last one though, was a picture of Callum and I from years ago, and on the other side, written with a big red marker, were the words, You're dead. I reported this as stalking, and hoped he would end up back in prison. The police had gone to his listed address, but there was no one there. In fact, all of his bags were packed. I knew he was still in the area somewhere, though. One day I was by myself in an unmarked car, and I saw this Toyota Yaris, and it was driving close behind me. It was my gut instinct to get the plate number checked, and I was going to. But then I got a priority one announcement on the radio saying there was a crazy man on a bus who had a knife and stabbed someone. I turned on my sirens and blue lights and headed to the accident. As I got on the bus, he was already arrested, and the ambulance was already there as well. As I was about to leave the bus, I heard a loud bang, and a man on the bus fell down. He was shot through the window by a man who was wearing a black hoodie. He immediately ran. I ran out of the bus and went to the boot of my car. I got my MP5 SF out, which was a large rifle with sniper capabilities. I ran after the suspect and radioed in. They gave me an order of critical shot, which meant I could shoot to kill the suspect. He ran through the town center and went to the left. I was worried about public safety as he had a large rifle as well. I realized instead of running after him, I needed to get on a roof and shoot down. 
I went to this building that had views of the right and left. Oh, we just know already who it is. And I was worried that he would have run away by now. As I got to the roof, I turned my gun to the sniper level. I used the eyepiece to scan, and I saw a man in a black hoodie running. I fired a shot, and he fell to the ground. By the time I got there, more armed policemen came to the area. I was shocked to see Callum. He was the one who followed me in the car behind me, and that shot in the bus was meant for me. But he missed. Callum was dead. I felt sad, but also relieved that this was all over. The man shot on the bus survived, and I was promoted for my diligent work. I'm still working in the force. That wasn't actually a really good story, not gonna lie. So it's actually crazy. So like, okay, I think I understand what happened. So I think he was like teaming up with that guy. That, like he was messaging that guy that he killed on purpose. Like they were, it seemed like they were friends. So like he wanted to get, he wanted to get him arrested, but she did. Like that, the other guy wanted to get Kim arrested, so he did. And then when he got out, he obviously came after him. Which is honestly kind of scary, because then, like, what if you see something go down? Like, what if your house gets robbed? What if something happens, and then they clearly see you, and then they get arrested, and then they know who to look for when they're out of jail? That's what, like, makes me nervous. Because it's like, if they're in jail for, like, a year or two, it's kind of, okay, I so saw they know where I live, they know what I look like, and they're going to be out of jail in approximately a year, for example, right? It's like, fuck, then they're going to come back after me. And that's terrifying to think, because they already know where you live, they already, all, all they have to do is plan a break-in, for example. So like obviously for him they were they they were best friends. That's terrifying to know that you're and, and might as well say my ex best friend slash colleague tried to kill me. That's crazy. Like best friends can turn to end enemies real quick. Which is actually kinda scary because I love all my best friends and, and to think that they could be an enemy. That's crazy, eh? So like in in this story I actually did kinda like feel bad for Caleb and the guy because they were like they, they were the best of friends. Which kind of made me sad thinking, oh, because like I have best friends and like if that happened to me, then I'm, I'm, I, I'd be sad too, so. But I mean, if the guy was fucked up, then I guess. But I, I mean, I already knew who it was behind that car when he was driving, I already knew. And when he got into that bus and wanted to get that guy that was like stabbing people, I already knew that would, that he would, that Caleb was the one that shot the shot. And it's so crazy to think that he missed the shot and then the guy that he wanted to shoot ended up killing him. That's crazy. And it's kind of sad also to think that he's the one that killed his best friend, or his ex-best friend. But I mean, he tried to kill him first, so. But at least they were, at least he, he was safe now, at least, you know. Still pretty sad though, damn. It's crazy. I'm, I'm glad that the guy that Caleb shot survived, because he wasn't even the target. It's, it, it's also like really sad like when you're not even the target of something and then like you just happen to be there at the wrong time. You know what I mean? That's like t terrifying to think. Like you're just walking to work, something's going on, and then you happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and, and you don't even know. And then boom, you're dead. That's terrifying to think. Like it's... it's uh. This is actually like really... That, uh, that was a really good story, not gonna lie. Like I was actually probably one of the best. I thought I said my ex college tried to kill me. That dude in the beginning, he was the dude at the college party. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I don't... That, I, that, that was just a really good video and I kind of want to watch it again. The next day I Oops. went to... I, I really want to watch this again, so I'm probably going to like watch my reaction to it, to it all over again. Because that was a good video, for sure. So I hope you guys did like it, because I definitely did. Um, again, Wednesday seems like he's on a roll, like uploading like pretty, pretty like, like a lot, you know what I mean? So he's doing really good with that. Um, and yeah, I'm still waiting for Dark and Twisted, like I, I cannot wait, I seriously cannot wait, like I'm actually so, like it's, it's not easy to wait, like I thought it would be like more early this week, but it's already another week almost gone by, like, dang. I'm trying to see if he has any like community posts separate. Or anything like that. Oh, a day ago.
The way things look, it's going to be the start of next week. Oh my god, not again. It was supposed to come out last week, and then it's going to come out next week. Oh my goodness, I can't do this. Uh, episode 5 will be worth the wait. My goal was to start making the episodes 10 minutes, because that way I can get them out faster. Uh, episode 5 looks to be running over my timeline, which, which I'm sure you guys are happy to hear. So if it's long, then I'm, then I'm happy about that. Also, I'm working on my Stranger Things costume party part 2, which is also lit. Oh my gosh. So, looks like I'm going to be waiting for another few days, which sucks, but whatever it is, what it is. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.